when I got pregnant, I already had trauma for my father with Parkinson's and whatever was happening. Yeah? I've been sitting here to you now for how, oh, how long? Yeah? My son's father was like, I should have an abortion. I considered having an abortion. You don't know what an abortion was, but I considered having an abortion. I know enough that an abortion is getting rid of the, the unborn child. I had gone to the doctor. The doctor had, Dr. Campbell, of course. Dr. Campbell had advised me, tell the young man to come and talk to him. Every day I talk, and if anybody is willing to know, they'd hear it and see it. That it was cricket that saved my son, Kevin Murray, because if he had gone to the doctor with me, I'd probably had done the abortion. No, he could not go with me to speak to Dr. Campbell. He has to go to cricket in Montego Bay. And that's how I ended up not having the abortion. Because Lloyd Murray was going to say, send Brian Ruddock with me. And I know who Brian is. And I always said it would have been better instead of doing the abortion, get a microphone and walk from Townhead to Crossroad to, to tell the story. My brother Irving said that he knows. Yeah? Because Brian told him the story that it, he was supposed to go with me to do the abortion. And now after what he said and then Irving turned against me and turned my sons against me, yeah? Just for the record, yes, I ended up having a relationship with, a sexual relationship with Dr. Campbell. It was, I wasn't looking for permanent or whatever. Me, I need somebody in my life for other things. It was good sex, that's all it was. And how did that come about? My boyfriend Brian Duane, I. I accused me of giving him a sexual disease and at Dr. Campbell was my doctor I went to Dr. Campbell checked me out nothing of the sort and that was how after that Dr. Campbell and I became lovers yeah sex that's all it was if I say I'm a good at sex when, the, the, it, when it's conducive I am I can get you verified if you need. When I left here and go home one time on holidays, I can visualize what I was wearing. My mom, her pressure, her whatever run up to whatever. When I took her to the doctor, the doctor said she was lucky. And Dr. Campbell was like working his way back in, inviting me to come. But that time I'd moved on. Yeah? But I don't do. I don't just go around having sex with any anybody. I've had sexual encounters. It was just for sex. I don't think there was any much emotional thing to it, because I know at some point in time it was going to end. So yes, Dr. Campbell is one of the most pre, pre just person with status that I have had a sexual encounter with. It was just sex. I wasn't looking for permanent relationship. I wasn't looking for anything. He invited me to be his lover. We became lovers and that's it. There are others. But I've never been with a married man. Well, if he was married, it wasn't anything to do with me at the time. But I've never I've never deliberately gone out and get myself involved with a married man to cause any problems. I'm sitting here, I'm telling the story. And that's why I'm mindful of my husband because he's years older than me and I've heard his story why he had refused from married marrying again and saying I should not marry but he done me the honor of making me his wife and I'm gonna try and stick I've come this far and play my part yeah I will chat until I can no longer chat because this is therapy for me